Hey folks, uh, AJ here. We're back on my famous workbench highlighting a retrofit system that we are offering that will replace the old obsolete uh, control systems that Aquaglass used in their Whirlpool bathtubs back in the day. Uh, this will replace the Luxury Comfort Series control system, the AquaSense, and the TDS-3 control system in all those old Aquaglass tubs. So it's a universal system that will replace all three of those. Uh, I got all the components laid out here on the workbench, so I'm going to show you how everything goes together. So make it nice and easy for you. Okay, first we're going to look at our water level sensor. All right, I want to hold this up to the camera so you guys can see. This wavy light, right? Wavy, yeah, okay, wavy line right here indicates our water level. Okay, so you want to get this siliconed, and uh, you're going to use some hot glue, uh, hot glue gun uh, to the back side of the tub. Okay, so the instructions the manufacturer says to put some silicone on this side of the temp sensor, and then in this channel right here, you're going to apply a bead of um, melted glue from a hot glue gun. All right, and then you're gonna stick it to the side of the tub. And uh, of course, hold it there for a good minute or two until it uh, really takes, so you don't have to worry about falling off. So that goes on the back side of the tub. Now, for demonstration purposes, there's a little trick in the business. And what we're gonna do is fool this sensor that, um, that there's water there. So we're gonna wrap it with this cord, okay? For demonstration purposes only. Now, the control box looks just like this. All right, we have our option plugs and our display plugs. Everything is very, very simple, folks. Okay, now, what's not simple is this pin pattern. You very, very, very need to make sure that these pins line up. If you bend any of these pins when you're putting this together, you're going to have a problem. Okay, so make sure you line those pins up perfectly before you put that together. All right, so we're going to plug in our water level sensor into the option plug outlet. Okay. And our display panel is color-coded. This is red, and it's got red down here on the control box. Okay, so we're going to do that right there as well. Plug that guy in. And then the same thing with our touchpad here. Plug it into the back side, making sure the pins are lined up perfectly so nothing gets bent or out of shape. If you bend it, I guarantee you will not have any kind of display or any kind of function coming out of your display panel okay so that's first things first okay now there also is a trim piece that comes with the kit it's an optional trim piece it will come with the kit whether you use it or not it's up to you but uh, for most of the tubs you're going to need to put that trim piece around that control panel okay so we got everything all plugged in right now now the old systems you're going to have to uh, get rid of that motor as well not only will you need to buy this control system but you're going to get the motor with this as well okay because there was special wiring in the back of those motors um, that is not compatible with the new system so a new a new uh, variable speed pump will come with this system okay so we're going to plug that motor in and now i'm going to plug this guy into the outlet and then we're going to see our control panel come to life all right first it's going to have the three dashes there in the middle as it begins to boot up okay it's going to take a couple minutes for the system to come on all right um co1 is going to light up all right and then eventually we're going to see our temperature display um oh we're going to have to set our clock i'm sorry we're going to, have to set our clock first let's just give it another minute for this guy to boot up and there's our clock signal flash in there i don't know if you can see that in the light but uh, the far left indicator clock is now flashing. So when I hit that, I'm going to be able to set the timer for the pump uh, in five-minute increments. And I'm going to show you how that goes right now. If I hold that down, now the pump's going to run for 10 minutes. Okay, you can see that number 10. And now it's reading 73 degrees. Okay, that's 73 degrees in the workroom. All right. And then now our jet's button is flashing. And... Sorry, folks, should have warned you about that pump being real loud, okay? So what, you, what you're going to notice on the display screen, as soon as you hit that, it's going to say SP6, and that's the six speed, okay? Now I'm going to hold that down, and it's going to cycle all the way down to low speed, all right? You can let go of your finger, whichever setting you want to have it at, okay? If you let it go all the way down to the lowest one, one, and if you continue to go past one, then you're going to see WA, which is the wave function. And then you're going to hear the motor get louder and softer and louder and softer. That's going to give you a variable speed, a wave massage coming out of those jets, which is real, real nice. So I'm going to do that right now for you.
the button down, and then you see, oh, I'm sorry, it's full. T-U-L. We've got nine minutes left in the timer, 73 degrees. Okay. And we hit the button again, it goes off. So, it goes down to the pulse mode. It's not the wave mode, it's a pulse mode. I apologize. But it's a variable speed system. you got six speeds and then the pulse mode. Okay? And this will replace these control systems that Aquaglass used. Okay? Very, very simple system. Very, very durable. Okay? A couple of do's and don'ts, folks. Um... The key panel does not light up until there's water in the tub, okay? So it's not going to send power up here until you got the water in the tub. Uh, get an often question on that. Hey, I just hooked everything up and uh, nothing's coming on. Well, did you fill the tub up? And, of course, the answer is always no. So once that tub comes all the way filled up past that water level sensor, then you're going to see your display keypad light up, and it's going to show the current temperature, and that's when function begins, okay? So that's how that works. So everything is working right now. you got eight minutes left in the timer. Okay, once you're done with the tub, turn the pump off, start draining your tub, you're going to see the touchpad go blank. Okay, it's not going to have power to it until there is water in the tub. And that's pretty much everything about this control system that will work on all these old Aquaglass systems. Uh, any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call. We are your Aquaglass Parts Authority.